All right, buddy, welcome back to Black Hat USA 2019. Chuck Carroll, Security Guy, TV, ASIS TV. Prepare to be amazed and nervous <laughs> with my next guest. What's your name, young lady? <laughs> I'll say it for you. Daydree Diamond. Daydree Diamond, <laughs> CyberSN.com. One of my favorite companies because you're, you're really trying to save the world here. I know. This is a serious problem. You deal in talent or lack of. So tell us what's going on. Tell us what you yeah. guys do and what's you know what's the status of the world right now with cyber talent. Yeah. So it's the status of the world in general, and yet it being the same status for cyber professionals really gives us a national security issue. So we've got a crisis within a crisis within a crisis. Oh what boy. do we got? So we've got a shortage of talent. Okay. We've got 89% of the talent that does exist willing and interested to talk to a recruiter. And we, in existing jobs. In existing jobs. Oh boy, that's a high number. And so when I say we've got the same thing going on that's going on in the world, we've got a lot of people who are not able to work together and make good decisions and stick together and grow Isn't this teams. kind of the nature of the job? I mean, you're, you're an analytical person. You're not a, a, a Facebook person. You know, it's kind of a different smart, smart people. and. That makes it more challenging to stay together? I think it's the nature of today and, and the fact that we're no longer, you know, technical is just being technical and not having EQ because we're a service yeah, yeah, industry yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. So EQ is so high on the charts of teamwork that we're really challenged in tech, cybersecurity, and really in other places. But certainly we see it more in cyber because cyber is such a new language. Not many people speak it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So 89%. 89% of the marketplace is willing and interested in speaking to a recruiter. Problem is getting access to those people, and meaning like how do you get through the clutter of ads and right. and what a job description looks like. In fact, we're giving away at our booth uh, t-shirts that say no more and then in hex, shitty job descriptions. <laughs> uh, because the platform we're launching tomorrow at Black Hat literally has job building software and profile building software such that the platform builds and makes the matches and we're not having resumes and job descriptions that we're all sort of cutting yeah. and pasting every day uh, that's causing so much of the churn is just the search where do we find these professionals and then matching them so is the, uh, is the matching that's the working big problem us? no it doesn't exist well so if I put yeah. it and I and I had this when I change professions here <laughs> Went into this profession thank god you did because well, it's so much fun well, it all worked out well right yeah. but i literally put in a thousand applications here i'm a c-level guy and i couldn't get a job that's right and i'm going what am i doing wrong well before you would mail it to somebody I'm wondering if the algorithms, you know, I didn't have the right word in my upload. Is that what's going on? I maybe? know what you're saying. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So when okay. you, the, the, the algorithms are matching what I call shitty content to shitty content. Okay. Good. All right. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Because the job description is most likely not a job description. It's probably a bunch of buzzwords that yeah. somebody thinks, uh, and, and technologies and skill that somebody thinks they need. That's not a job description. Right. So you don't know if you actually want to do that right. job. And then, uh, you know, resumes are whatever we want to put on. On them, so to speak, and so yes, they're matching. Their algorithms aren't working because they're matching crappy content well, to you know, crappy content. These guys invented the internet. You think they would have got this Dude, right? Listen, if I'm the genius that's going to solve this, I want recognition because I think I am. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, meaning. You're right. Why have we not solved this? Why have the dating apps solved this? And you know what? The, what's oh, happened? That's a good point. The dating apps have solved statistics of marriage breakups being so poor. They flipped it. I mean, the studies are there Ooh, that's because you the matches are so much more quality yeah. that people aren't settling. We're all settling in jobs, even. Right. You know, never yeah, mind yeah. Um, relationships in general. Right. So the thing that the dating apps did, and certainly our platform, no more, is what we call it. No more resume. No more all this stuff. Right. And instead a taxonomy of job descriptions and uh, profiles that is not cut and pasted but through a series of questions of tasks and projects okay now that's a good point the other yeah. thing i figured it happened was that the person on the other end the recruiter doesn't know jack about exactly cyber, right? that's why i made this self-service i want all recruiters to be able to speak like my recruiters right. do and that's what this platform does because by roles and responsibilities we have tasks and projects defined and we're just what are they doing this or not doing this well, let me ask you this yeah. this is it's a fair question but i'm sure you have the answer to it could our shortage be our, our shortage estimate be off because we have a really poor way of 
having applications <laughs> accepted and stuff, right? I mean, yeah. I you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, just because they're employed. So we know those jobs exist, I plus the okay. open jobs. Okay. But it is definitely causing us not to train people right. because we're so overworked that these professionals aren't able to create succession planning and training programs. And so we're really also challenged by we can't absorb the entry level people. My firm gets contacted by them all the time. Right. And uh, people don't pay me a fee for entry level, for sure. It's right. hard enough for a cyber well, leader to get a fee for but, an but maybe engineer. That's, you might have to change your model because if uh, my son is talking to some people now. He's got a degree in math, interested in cybersecurity. He knows nothing about it. They're saying, we don't care. You oh, they don't degree, care. Yeah. I'm going to put you Most here and train don't. you. Yeah. So well, is that considered an entry so, level guy? Yes, it is considered entry level. Uh, how did how did he get into those interviews? Because I sent him to some people. <laughs> exactly. That's, what, That's what I'm saying. That's right. Unless yeah. you're connected. Uh, okay. You That's know right. somebody that can help you. He there isn't an online ability to do so, which is how we run our lives. So why don't we take... Uh, Cyber C, uh, Cyber SN, and make it a dating app for for IT people, kind of right. Well, matching them with the right company. That's that what we're almost. doing. We're, yeah. we're solving search and match, and we're solving it for cybersecurity professionals because I love them. They're in, I've been working in the field since 2007. I'm a criminal justice major and a sociologist by education, and I saw how it really concerned me as a citizen yeah. that we can't find each other. We're not ma we're not able to actually no. find each other in today's world with n without all this pain. Right. So we're going to solve that. And then all job platforms need to, or, or professions need to follow suit because there's a language for each profession. Right. And we need to use that for our job descriptions and our profile. One language. Yeah. And right now it's whatever language everybody wants Very to cut and paste. All right. Now turn a little more yes. of the cameras so we can see. So tell me yes. what the bad news is. Are we? Do we have more job openings than we had last year? Because yes. it was a million oh, yeah. last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, mil you were so supposed to make it that better. That was so uh, internationally. The number is two point one by twenty twenty oh, internationally. Predicted it. You predicted Not it last me. Year. Uh, well, I of course yeah. predicted it would double. Yes, That's right. Yes, uh, it has to look. Security is the business of securing. It is not a technology, and it it, it goes through all departments. And the more we learn about security from a compliance perspective and just a risk perspective and even what's possible perspective, we're learning to build people to right. handle those, those problems and those challenges and solve them. And so everybody's going to become a security professional well, really, from the perspective yeah. of, you know, security matters so much that we all must be security minded. Now, what's the good news? Do we yeah, have some good news? Um, you know, the good news is the security professionals really are empathetic people. They work for people who aren't empathetic. Oh, yes. Okay. Right? Yeah. So because they're empathetic, as they gain power, and they are in terms of the, the necessity to have these leaders and right. to listen to them, then I think empathy can, you know, come okay. back to the workforce in a greater point. capacity. That's my hope. No, I'm going to let them vote with their feet, by the way, because yeah. this platform is going to allow them to leave any culture that doesn't treat them that way. Right now, it's a slow bleed because of how hard job searching right, right, right. is, right? So that's going to empower them, too, right? So when a guy wants to jump, is he really getting that much more money if he goes to the other place? Or not really, Anybody right? who good. wants to jump is going to get more money. If oh, it is. So it's yes. not just the cultural change where you treat me better. No. So here's the thing. Nobody's looking because they are not paid enough. Right. They're looking because they're not feeling valued or they don't have a way to uh, continue their growth pattern. Yeah. And so, but when it comes to the offer stage, people don't leave without raises. It's still risky. You yeah, don't know true. these folks. So yeah. it's what, that's what ends up happening is a raise happens, of course, because it's still challenging and emotional to leave an organization just, be, you know, uh, regardless of how yeah. uh, unhappy. And it's not like everybody's miserable. Uh, and yet they're still not happy and yeah. that's what we must have and that's my that's my goal uh, you know I think you have the solution I'm dead serious about this come right? come see come check out the product Absolutely. no more K N O W more like more knowledge right. uh, with less and also no more no more of this uh, BS right. of uh, wasting all this time connecting and, and it being not a good conversation Mr. Max did you hear all this now <laughs> build my center profile in there so he gets in there and starts getting <laughs> yes some, please get some drops. Deidre Diamond it's great to see good you to see you too cybersn.com launching oh you're launching what tomorrow tell us yes uh, the no new more platform too. yeah new everything new website uh, where talent meets its match and uh, it's a revolution for job platforms excellent check it out Black Hat USA 2019 back in a minute here Thanks. on SecurityGuyTV.com. Thank you.